Yeah. yeah. Okay, should I repeat yeah. that? Yeah, go ahead. You love Negroes? Why would you say that? Fuck you. Why would Fuck you, you th- Sam. Oh, that's so rude. Fuck you. You are the rudest <laughs> person I've ever met in my life. Help Look me. at his amazing sweatshirt. That's what uh, I was saying. Oh, that's a cool sweatshirt. That's man. not what you said. Can, what hey, what's say? the what's what the sweatshirt say? about? What did he say? Because I don't remember. Um, I don't want to get. Charles in, I, I don't want to get he, in the middle. He of this. said Charles is Negro sweatshirt. And that's I not what I said. Yes, it is. Oh, how's your how's your four hundred dollar color going? I have a message for you. I was out yesterday in the town, and someone goes, "Hey." Are you Jasmine? I go, yeah. She goes, oh, I know we, Sam. I go, yeah? What do you have to say to him? This is what she had to say to you. Oh, so that's she Nicole used Boucher. To, she used to be your producer. Well, she flipped you off. So. Yeah, yeah. What did you do to her? What did I do to Nicole? Yeah. Nothing. There's no nudes, but no, go ahead. See. Actually, Nicole there Boucher. might be. You're beautiful against that green backdrop. Thank you. Yeah. I've missed you. I miss you, too. You can keep complimenting me. We can ignore uh, we, Sam, and hey. you can just give me compliments. Okay. Go hey. ahead. I could use some. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh, I mean, you got a little sparkle in your eyes. I don't know. There's something going on. You got an inner glow. I do. Yeah. Wait, you got engaged? No. Wait, I commented that you got engaged. That on doesn't your post. mean that I did. Oh, but it looked like it. Good. Well, I congrats. like keeping people on their toes. I like For people seven. not knowing what's going on in my life. Yeah, you have the worst posts of all time. But Do I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Break it down. Do. What's bad about them? They don't make sense. Oh, that's the point. That's the point? Yes, we To confuse Sam. people when they come to your page? Yeah, it's funny. It's not funny. Yes, it is. You literally we I have had a way great more followers no, than no. you, so obviously it works. Mm, you bought them. Uh, I didn't buy them. Mm, you bought them. <laughs> yeah, I bought them with hard work and mm. paying my dues and Ooh. killing it. Ooh. Mm. Hey, I'm gonna read everybody how funny you are. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. People no, are gonna no, laugh. It's, no, it's gonna be so great. It is. Here we go. Charles. We're and not gonna hold Jasmine. for the plane. Uh, no, we're not going to hold for the plane. Here, let me go ahead and produce this for you. We should hold for the plane. Yeah, okay. Okay, I said good morning. <laughs> Info for Sunday, the podcast. I gave the address. Stop it. And <laughs> you, you, no, oh, oh, no, oh, no, no, no. What, what no, I, I thought you were going to read from Instagram. No, I'm going to read how unfunny you are in real life. You can't, you can't do this because you've sent me very inappropriate things that are hilarious because it's funny to you and I. You can't go reading... Some of the, you can't go. pick it. Good morning. <laughs> Info for Sunday at 1 p.m. I gave him the address and I said to them, in a very kind gesture. And a, oh gesture. Yeah, kind gesture. Gesture. <laughs> bottled Little spring. Uh, and oh, I go, any drink preferences? And then Charles go, bottled spring valley mountain water. And yeah. I go, okay, that's cool. That we got it. What uh, Britt oh. likes to do? <laughs> just, just. What happened? What just happened? You just hit the camera? Oh, yeah. That's so funny. He's nervous. <laughs> I'm all He's over nervous. He's scared. Yeah. <laughs> <It's out. laughs> You're sweating. You're I'm actually sweating. sweating. <laughs> I, am. I told you. I we sweat. make you nervous. Yeah. What you have allergies. Is that what it is? It or? could be COVID. I hope not. It could not. be Omicron. You're, you're, you're regretting this. That's why I said sit me specifically next to Jasmine. Um, Wait, why? Because we're going to have to quarantine together then. I can pay you all kinds of compliments. Later. Oh, okay. Okay. Anyway. This could so, go many directions. So I'm open. I'm, I'm open to any direction. So rude. <laughs> so <laughs> Charles goes, bottled Spring Valley mountain water. Uh-huh. And then Jasmine goes, guns. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's so funny. That was his delivery. <laughs> and then oh. Charles goes, in a nice, like, <laughs> goes, I can't drink guns. That's silly. <laughs> See, that's funny. It is funny. I laugh. I'm sweating now. <laughs> <laughs> I put on an extra layer. Now, now I'm you just like sweating. You need to take it sweating. off. Your... I need to take it off. I need to take it off. I'm going to take it off. Take it off. Okay. Bow, 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 bow. You know what? I'm getting a little hot, too. Hold on. Before you take it off, I just want to finish the, the, the text the thread. Show. And then I go back. Okay. So <laughs> silly. As like a, like all, by the way, all. Take it all off. All the likes all right now on the show. Pants, too. You're too good for yeah, this, by the way. Yeah, take off your pants. <laughs> take off your pants. <laughs> let, him, let him finish. I'm going to so say pressure. nothing to that. Okay. My mind so, isn't dirty, and I have no dirty jokes. Go ahead. It won't take him long. <laughs> no. <laughs> he okay. needs to focus. I'm sorry, what just happened there? I thought there was more moss back there. You, dude, you did that so like, what? like something happened in your butt. No. <laughs> yeah, because things get lost in here. It's like things get lost. Like it's a bit a of a trauma. Behind you. Scream. Ghost face, I think is what you meant to say. No, anyway, so I, and I'm trying to be nice as well at this point. So I go, ah, oh, so silly. And then Jasmine Don't. responds back with a Donald Trump gif that says, 
you know, no matter what you do, guns, no guns, doesn't matter. You're going to get canceled. Hey, you literally, the whole vibe of the text message, just <laughs> done. And so I had to leave That's this funny. voicemail. Oh, shit, hold on. Unbelievable, unbelievable, unbelievable. Here we go. You ready for this? Mm-hmm. All right, two things. Uh, first, it's crazy how unfunny you are, Jasmine. Just, you, like, you know, <laughs> we're all having a good time with the text messaging, and then you just, you just make it so, like, unfunny. It just amazes me. You know, it's like a real skill. Second, please come camera ready, Jasmine. <laughs> You're going to be sitting next to Charles. Please, 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 like, at least do your hair or whatever's left of it. Or something. You know, like just <laughs> like, if you don't go extra hard, it's gonna look a lot worse. Mm. Cause we mm -hmm. all know Charles, like you know, is, uh, mm -hmm. top five sexiest men alive. You know, next to Jasmine. That. Oh, no. <laughs> Yin Yang. You know, <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. You know, that's how it goes. Oh, I can't wait for Sunday. I cannot wait. What do you want to fucking drink, Jasmine? Yeah. So yeah. that was it. So that's our relationship. Look that's me. Look me in the eyes. Okay. You genuinely didn't even giggle when I sent that text. When you sent guns? Mm hmm I rolled my eyes. You did. Did you laugh? No. Oh. Yeah. I thought it was no. funny. Dude, you, <laughs> dude, your allergies are kicking in, too. There's some, yeah. You know what? I'm, you didn't laugh either? Sweat. No, I didn't. It wasn't really You're being funny. waved at. I'm being waved at? What's up? Yeah, thanks, man. These goddamn mics. Dude, this is really exciting, mm -hmm. both of you. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, what's your what's with your attitude right now? I don't like this, dude. Oh. It's getting hot in here, by the way. Is it? Take yeah. off all your clothes. Yeah, Take I think I should. Oh my gosh, it's getting so hot. And the ratings are going down. Oh, are they? <laughs> yeah. Are they going yeah, down? They are. Oh man, <laughs> I, I don't know. I just feel like I'm I'm so hot right now. Isn't it crazy? How Wait. Hot <laughs> you can get? <laughs> oh my gosh, it is so freaking hot. Oh, oh, no. I wonder why it's so hot. Hey. I told you it was hot in here. Oh. Look what it, look what it did to him. Oh, my God. $6. CDS. $400. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Idiot. 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 Okay. Okay. <laughs> Unbelievable. Are you kidding me? Oh you God. spent four hundred dollars to color your not armpits. Not on. No, not to cover my armpits. To color my hair. And by the way, not on purpose. You colored your armpits at the same time, right? Yeah, at the same time. So Let's was, see him. But I've done this by myself. This was okay. Yeah. I always go, go to the same hairstylist. Yeah. Who we all know, Taylor mm -hmm. Tanaka. She's the only person I let touch oh, yeah, my Taylor's hair. Oh, Taylor's awesome. She yeah. was okay, our hairstylist yeah. on yeah, Four yeah. the People. But she got married yesterday. More tissues for. Do you okay. even look hot when you have allergies? That's bothersome to me. Thanks. Well, anyway. Continue. Anyway. Yeah, so it sucks to be interrupted, doesn't she it? She got. Yeah, it's kinda, it kind of sucks in the middle of the story <laughs> to be interrupted, doesn't it? We say we're your guests. Treat us with respect. Anyway. Ooh, she said put some respect yesterday on Yesterday was Taylor's <laughs> wedding, and I went, and so I didn't want to bother her this week and mm -hmm. ask her to color my roots because okay. it was her wedding week. And I, I'm shooting a music video on Monday, so I needed my roots dyed. So she sent me to someone. Yeah. Yeah. I hope Taylor doesn't hear this because she'd be mortified. She did such two different colors. I had to go home and wash it out for like an hour and it still looks bad. Did you look cry? at this? <laughs> I know. Two different this is different than this. And it was four hundred and twenty dollars. Well, Isn't that insane? Be, can, Welcome to fucking LA. Can I be honest with you? Yes. I thought it was a choice thing no. and it honestly doesn't look that bad. No. Charles, would you would you agree or disagree? You can go ahead and tell me it looks awful, because I think I mean um, it looks better now than it did. Do, there are two different There's two different two, hues. Of, I don't uh, understand, and I even brought my own color. So why did? And whenever I, I go to Taylor, it's not nearly that much. I yeah, don't know. I yeah. don't know. It wasn't on purpose. I would never do that. Yeah. No. I would never spend that oh, much money. Yeah. Thank oh, you. how cute. Anyways. Well. That's the deal with the hair. It it looks it looks fine, but are you gonna fix it? I tried. You tried. I don't know how to fix it. I'll just shave it all off. I actually thought about that. Yeah, do it. Go shave your head. Like, just do a bald vibe? How would I look? How do you think I look? Just put this. Can you, in post, put my head on? Yeah, here. Yeah, that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Look good. 
Yeah. I mean, it's, Charles, yeah. you'd look good in most things. It would work for me. You would. I want to see you with long hair. Okay. Yeah, like really long hair. Okay. Like you've been yeah. on a desert island for a while. Yeah. Yeah. And it gets a little fro. I look like Bruno Mars. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. Okay. <laughs> you like that? Yeah. Okay. Bruno Mars? No, I just like Charles. As Bruno Mars? Yeah. 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 Thanks. Yeah. Tell us, about the, tell us about this um, uh, this bullshit podcast you're doing. Oh, bullshit? You hate the gays? You're putting it on record? You don't like homosexuals? I never said that. Don't put words in my mouth. You've said a lot of things. I hate the gays? Out of all the you people that hate the gays, see? I hate the gays? No. We said quiche. I hate the gays. No, there was a question mark on it. Well. Because you were your statement was so ridiculous. Not in post. Are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you? I don't know. No, seriously, are you? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. I'm pan. Why are you? <laughs> why? Are you, why are you smiling about that? Why are you like that's? I'm asking you a serious question. Because it fills me with question. joy. You're pan. Yeah. Cool. Just call me KitchenAid. What? Isn't that like a brand? Um, no. What? A pan. No, no, no. Like KitchenAid, the brand. Call you pan KitchenAid. Sexual pan. Like a pan, like you fry in? Is that what you were doing? Land. Oh, no, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the worst. Lost, lost me on that one. Dude, you're the worst. <laughs> See, this is just like that. Oh, this God. This is just I like got that like, text with the gun joke. Like, <laughs> okay, but I thought it was funny. Here's the thing about jokes. As long as someone's laughing, doesn't matter who. <laughs> Are you an immigrant learning English? As long as, as lo uh, here are th uh, the things about jokes. As, as long as someone is laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Let him pee my beard. <laughs> oh my God. So what's your, anyway. what's your podcast about? It's about like what? Okay, it's called The Gay Agenda. It's produced by Netflix's Most. It comes out January 10th. And it's a weekly interview podcast where we sit down with successful queer people and talk about what made them successful and mm. queer joy and just like shoot the shit, have a good time. That's great. Yeah. Congrats. And where Thank can people you. listen to it? Everywhere you get your podcast. It's out January 10th. Wonderful. This will be yeah. out by then. Mm. Yeah. Very exciting. Put a little link in the bottom of yours. Yeah, yeah please. Mm, we'll just edit all that out. <laughs> 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 you watch it again. You, you really did it. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Starts crying. Yeah. So when is the um, the Charles Jasmine We Sam podcast? Right now. You're doing yeah. that LA thing that everybody hates. No, you you did it. As You're doing you it right in, now. I did it as a joke. I was also joking. Okay. Oh my god. Charles, will you do some talking? I'm really tired of him. Okay. Well, How have you been? I've been pretty I've good. Missed you. Yeah. Thanks. Where have you been? I traveled to where? all over the world. I went to Venice. Worst Como. interviewer ever. Yeah. Worst interviewer. Who? Me? Yes. Yeah, so boring. What's boring about it? Oh no. Oh, no, we're not doing this. We have to you separate went, you two. You went to Venice. Went to Venice. I mm -hmm. went to Zurich. I went to Turkey, Amsterdam. Love it. Atlanta. Love. I've never Love been to Atlanta. Atlanta. I still haven't been. I want to go to your smoothie shop. Okay. How's it Kill doing? Me crazy. Check it out. There's Ooh, one in Midtown that's Miami such too. That's a cute name. Yeah. Yeah. Is there one in New York? No. Okay. Just Miami. Miami. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I went to Mexico City. Mm -hmm. I went to Liverpool. What the? Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. How was so Liverpool? It's all right. I saw the Beatles tour, you know, got to see the where they grew up their home. Oh, nice. Stuff like that. Cool. So very un interesting. I just want to see you guys go at it again. No. Okay. You went to some awesome museums recently. You had one of your best pictures. You were, like, taking a picture through, a, like, a photo or a silhouette of someone. who go That's so rude, what, what you're doing. What? I was stretching. It was at LACMA's here in L.A. Is it LACMA? Mm -hmm. LACMA? There, it's hit and miss eh, there sometimes. It's hit and miss there sometimes. Yeah. Well, they have a great African-American uh, exhibit. Oh. Big supporter of the Negroes, the Negro Leagues, and all things Why did Negro. you point at me? I, no, I was just like, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. I just went, oh, that's interesting. Huh. You could have pointed to anyone in this room mm, to say it was interesting. I could have, but at I me. did to you. Why? Mm. No, I'm, I'm curious. Why? Let's mm. dig in. Let's dig in. Why did you point to me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dig in. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to ruin my fucking career. Okay. <laughs> you already <laughs> are ruining mine. <laughs> How am I ruining yours? You ruin it yourself. Oh, I how can't. do I ruin it myself, we I Sam? Can't. Oh, let's read her last post. Yeah, go ahead, because you know what? Read it. You post the dumbest stuff. Who has more followers? You bought your followers. I didn't buy my followers. I've been laying low. You what? Here, okay, it's a picture of you and a chick, Violet 
Bean? Have you met Violet? No. She sent me oh. a. She's like, she sent me messages like, I can't believe Jasmine says all these like, things about. Things. Did she? Slid, Pull him up. Slid in those DMs. No, I'm not. Oh, gonna, he's lying. He's lying. I didn't slide in the DMs. She messaged me concerned about Jasmine's yeah. well-being, her oh, mental did health. Did she? Did she? Yeah. Yeah. Nope. That's okay. Okay. That's okay. Just those broad shoulders. Man. I know. <laughs> Can't stop working out. This is this is the picture of her and oh, Violet. Cute. And Thank then it you. says, "Your Very moms cute. are so proud of you and wish you happy holidays. You're doing great, sweetie. We love you so much. X O X O. Your moms. That's hilarious. Are you saying you're the moms for everyone? Yeah. Everyone on Instagram, you're their moms. Whoever needs moms, we're their moms. Oh, that's a, oh, okay. It's sweet. Like people who don't have moms. Yeah, sure. Oh, uh, that's not really like you. You just made, you just said yeah. No, I'm serious. Like little gay kids who don't ha who are, like kicked out. They don't have parents because okay. they're gay. We're, we'll be your moms. It's I, sweet. I think you should have made it's a video funny. saying that. Okay, let's make a video right now. Okay. So why do I feel like this is a bad idea? No, you you said it. That doesn't mean I think it's a, I can it can be a bad idea after I said it. And rolling. <laughs> no, what? I don't trust you. Something's gonna happen. You don't want to be a mom. This I feel like I need to remain silent. I have the right to remain silent. Up against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> it's happening. It's happening. Oh, no. Hold my hand. I'm oh, scared. That, that one made me warm. Am I engaged? <laughs> you're right, right. You, you're right, turning right, right. really red. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Guys, I got like. <laughs> Three hours of sleep. <laughs> Damn it, we really? Sam. Yeah, I just flew in from New York. Oh, yeah. yeah. I just and flew I in from New York. You gotta take care of yourself. I no, got three man. hours of sleep. Oh, my Sam. Hey, I'm really happy I'm for tired. yellow jackets for you. It seems like it's going really good. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. What's the story? What's it, what's it about? Yeah. I haven't had a chance to check it out yet. <sighs> Give us a little uh, synopsis. Whenever you're, like, kind, it makes me very suspicious. I'm co I'm committing. I'm committing. Let's just, like... Uh, oh, cool. Don't ruin my wall. But that's okay. I just have to commit to the look. That was a design flaw we didn't know was a flaw <laughs> until <laughs> it happened. That's like, you know what? <laughs> like Become that. one Take with the wall. With you. Yeah, yeah, this is my yeah. Um, yeah. souvenir. We have like dirt. Can we just throw it at you? Sure. <laughs> imagine I just throw a bunch of dirt. At it's you. not hard to imagine. Like, that wouldn't be a surprise. You want some? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Anyway, yellow jackets. Mm -hmm. It's cute. I'm not great at. <clears throat> Pitching things. No, no, we're not asking you to pitch it. It, it was, it's great though. We got, Thank uh, you. we just saw a lot of great reviews for Thank it. Thank you. And it's been. What's uh, your favorite episode? Oh, I haven't watched a single episode. Mm -hmm. You thought you were gonna like corner me? No. Yeah. I knew you hadn't. I I'm, don't watch I'm your work either. I'm actually busy working. Yeah, I don't watch your work either. I prefer. Um, never mind. You anyway, prefer what? Nothing. No, I keep, no, you were gonna. I keep, I keep almost making jokes. Yeah. Is this a tattoo? And then chickening out. Yeah. Did you get that tattooed on recently? A year ago. Okay. You like it? You can say no. You can say no. Yeah, I like it. <gasps> Don't lie. I like it a lot. It doesn't offend me. Not all tattoos are for all people. No, I'm, I'm just taking it in. Uh huh. So insecure. Sure. Did you see this? <laughs> no, I'm not. Let me see it. I'd love to see it. You're not going to like this. What does it say? Pleasure. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why does it say pleasure? Yeah. Is that? Is that the hand that you... <laughs> oh my god Pleasure is yourself. that what you thought too i've my mind has never gone there also it's my right hand not my left yeah <laughs> sorry continue what nothing i just okay. imagined the most disgusting thing i ever what? imagined no sorry no, go no, ahead tell me <laughs> what, what sorry, did you imagine man. we might need to take a break go ahead what did you imagine just keep going no uh, what did you imagine? Why do you get a, uh, by the way did you do that tattoo yourself it looks great for the first tattoo no i didn't oh here's another one Mm -hmm. I think I have six now. You have six. Mm -hmm. Six? How wow. many did you have when uh, when we started the show? One. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any tattoos? No. Oh. That's why I'm fascinated by it. I think it's cool to have no tattoos. You have, do you have tattoos? No tattoos. Yeah. You're no both tattoos. skin virgins. Shut up. This is because... Yes. I grew up in the church, in the Christian church, mm -hmm. and that was traumatic mm -hmm. and was taught so many problematic things but that um but that suffering is like the way to live mm -hmm. and uh, what what i'm listening like, this is not the place to go fucking deep <laughs> i'm not i'm swear <laughs> to god i'm listening sorry <laughs> okay you suffered in the christian church 
Continue. That's like to put it very to put it very mildly. Right. Mm-hmm. And then I was in uh, various relationships where that that didn't feel good at all, mm. and stayed because of this deeper Christian doctrination that suffering. Okay, here's like the real core of it. I came out when I was 21, and I felt like, oh, subconsciously, well, if I'm going to be in a relationship with a woman or whatever, mm. then I should suffer for that because I'm a bad, bad sinner, and I shouldn't get to enjoy all that that means. Mm. And that sucked, and then I got to a new place mm. and did a lot of healing, and I'm like, no, I want to I wanna feel good in every area of my life. Mm. I mean, I want to have good sex, you know? I just want to feel good. Pleasure. It's really important to me. And not just on the sex side, but like, in day-to-day life it should feel good it shouldn't i don't need to suffer it can be easy it can be fun when it is when it can be so yeah. it's a good reminder and this yeah. is my okay. best friend's handwriting she's loved my life so she's always with me that's i want to circle back to that actually D- what where do you find like that daily happiness for you charles because you've been doing a lot of artistic soul searching i feel like in the past six months right no i feel like you've always been like that i've always been like that i'm pretty i i I like ideas and mm-hmm. I like I just like that stuff. Like yeah. I have to watch like YouTube videos about things. Yeah. But most recently I took up golf. That's my dad. <laughs> nice. It's like deep. <laughs> what do you do? I golf. Aww. But it's the pursuit of something for you know, I'm not trying to make money or join the tour. It's not really necessarily to to go deeper or anything. I just like perfecting the craft. I like mm-hmm. being out. And learning something new. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so it satisfies that. Um, and there's things that I, I learn from it that then I can apply to to acting or to life. Um, but yeah, it's been my new jam. So I golf like every day. So after this, I actually i am going to go play. Of course you do. Yeah, and it gets me out on the course in the sun. I get my steps in. I love that. You know, so that's my jam. That's been my thing. You want to go yeah. to the Burbank one sometime? Yeah, you play? Yeah. Okay. The Burbank has a, is my favorite course because – it's tucked into the mountainside, mm-hmm. so you're going uphill and downhill, and it's it's just it feels like you're not in L.A. Yeah, you play? No, I have. Okay. I dated a guy once who golfed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He sounds like intrigued by that. Yeah, continue. No, that's the story. Cool. Hey, d- you did this really cool thing. Hmm. <laughs> this excellent what? transition. You did this really cool thing. Mm-hmm. I saw on a post you did on your Instagram mm-hmm. story which I was like wow that's so unique you know I was like that's what a was unique it? thing you um have on your phone a picture of <laughs> you as your wallpaper smiling no, not as my wallpaper oh it's just a, <laughs> an actual picture of you in the back of my phone case oh, it's it clear up. it's my let's other phone it. it's, it's in my let's other, see here. It. I'm gonna yeah let's see it I think I think that's so unique I think yeah you think that's unique yeah what else do you think it is it's a picture of her smiling on the back of her phone. Mm-hmm. What's yeah. your problem with that? No, I, I just find that so unique. Yeah, why is it bad for me to remember to have fun? And to remember a day w- that brought me joy. Also, y- your cover is a Kate Spade uh, cover, which only reminds me about <gasps> the fact that she committed suicide. Um, <laughs> I mean, I <laughs> <laughs> did you ever <laughs> 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 It's kind of ironic. Uh, uh, <laughs> the search for pleasure. <laughs> um, yeah, I just thought it was pretty. I mean, we're not laughing at Kate Spade. And it was like we're not on I don't, sale. I don't know what was going on. And then my roommate gave me that picture. I was like, "This is pretty." Yeah, we should move on. Yeah, Charles made it so weird. <laughs> no, Charles didn't make it weird. <laughs> The lady who bought the cake. <laughs> okay, first of all, don't ever call me a lady again. I'm sorry. Well, I, d- I, I, I want to clarify so I don't get canceled. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're not. No, no. Go ahead. It clarify. Just, you, the no, it's pic- the irony. The irony. The, irony. the, 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 the picture, juxtaposition. Yes. I but, follow. So what it, it just reminds me of is most recently what, her, what she was in the uh, press about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I follow. Okay, good. Yeah. You're good. You guys at home follow? Yeah. All right. We're all follow, man. No, you're good, dude. Okay. Don't worry. Yeah, God, I worked too hard for this career. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. No, he has do. more followers than both of us combined. So. Yeah. Why? What's with you and the followers? Shut up. Are you He's like obsessed oh, with that? You oh my fucking God. asshole. <laughs> no. Why you am I the fucking asshole? Fucking <laughs> asshole. <laughs> you fucking asshole. <sighs> <laughs> 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 
way the way to, like the way to happiness year. is not by measuring your followers. Shut up, Jasmine. Shut up. <laughs> For like a there's always there's Charles? always somebody with more followers. Shut up. I know, just For like a year, every week you would do a fucking post talking about yeah you had more followers than me. <laughs> It Guys, was, if you're watching this, especially if you follow me, bit, if you follow me funny. at Charles Davis 2020 on Instagram, and then as make soon sure as I start doing the thing, Jasmine. it's not funny anymore. It's the way you do it. Is it? Yeah. You seem really like real about it because you brought it up like 10 times already. <laughs> We're not even 30 minutes in. <laughs> and you're like, I got more followers. OK, cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh this is oh my these are my favorite <laughs> by the too. way podcasts ever uh, they make me so happy they make me i love laughing podcasts so hard. with negroes <laughs> those are your favorite you said it first you said liar you said don't it. gaslight me i don't you <laughs> fucking gaslight me he said it first off the fucking mic. I did not. Yes, you did. You pointed at Charles and you said I the said, Negro sweater. No, yes. You knew sweater. what you were doing. I thought that I was like, you oh, that's cool. That's you. history right there. I respect that. <laughs> Will you help me? No, I love this sweater though. I love it too. It's a great sweater. No yeah, one said it's, it's a bad sweater. sweater. You seem like it's I don't know, man. Like you just give off mixed signals all the time. <laughs> <sighs> oh man. Let's go back to just giving me compliments. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that okay. I've never felt the the energy get sucked out of a room quicker. No, you know what's so funny? Never mind. The worst <laughs> podcaster ever. She has a podcast she coming up, guys. Oh, you guys wanna know something funny? No, never mind. <laughs> okay, <if> you, <laughs> have you guys played the card game? We're not really strangers. Yeah. Oh, no, I haven't actually. You, of course you have. Um, yeah, a friend of mine introduced <laughs> me to it. Why was that funny? I, just, I, I just, would. I, yeah. it's I, met, great... I, met, I met the girl who created it. Whoa. I know, blow your mind, huh? Tell us about that. See, that's a good listening host. Uh, she's friends with a photographer, <laughs> friend, artist. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, they all, you know, artists, they all roam in those circles. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. Yeah. So when I actually, when I met her, one of the first things she did was at lunch, she broke out that game. And oh, played. cool. Yeah. Ooh. It, have, it was a way to you get to know played. each other. No, I, there's a couple board games that I'm really excited to play over the break, which mm -hmm. I'm not big on board games. Five Crowns. Have you played Five Crowns? No, what is that? It's a really fun game. You add up. There's, instead of four suits, there's five suits. We're really moving away from the topic. That's okay. Of, that's fine. No, no, it's things, okay. But it's my favorite Let's game. Let's play. Now. All right. I, um, uh, Sheriff of Nottingham. I absolutely love because a it's quick and you have to pay attention to each person's um, uh, round basically mm. or their move. So the game is so great, especially for actors because it's a lying and a manipulation mm. game. Kind of like Secret Hitler. I love that game. I'm sorry. <laughs> Secret Hitler. I've it's like mafia, except it's it's a card game. Yeah. And one person's Hitler and a bunch of people are Nazis. <laughs> no, it's a, it's. I know. I'm not. I, it's a game. I probably I, it's not my style. Or yeah, my, it's my not taste. my choice to break yeah. out at a, a ga social gathering. <laughs> yeah, if with I'm my at like, like Hanukkah, like yeah. it was with the Hitler guy. Yeah, guys. <laughs> Shannon's like, oh, I got a great game. It, one of us is Hitler. <laughs> you be Hitler. I'll be a Nazi. You're a Nazi. <laughs> it's a very, very popular board game. Oh my god. It's not. Yes, it is. Uh, I swear to you, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. No one in this room has heard of Secret Hitler. No. Fuck me. <laughs> so popular. <laughs> Fuck me. I'm Googling this right now. You guys. Terrible. I have a group of friends that we play just, this every just time. Just in time for the holidays, kids. Oh, go, man. Go to your local Look. Target. <laughs> Secret <laughs> Hitler. Pick up Secret Hitler. It's like Mafia, but it's a board game. It's so fun. And you have to try to like convince everyone okay. who's Hitler and who's not. And... It's, well, okay. Well, that's it's the game Sheriff of Nottingham is kind of similar. Where basically one okay. person takes a round of mm -hmm. being the sheriff, and he has to go to each person, and he has to check their satchel. And in the satchel, you put a certain number of cards, and you can either lie about it or tell the truth of how many, um, like how much product you put in your satchel. If you get caught lying, it goes against you. If you get away with the lie, you get more oh, coins. This is like so, that game that they played in Squid Games. 
the oh marble. Oh my God, that mm. episode. Oh yes. How many marbles, odd or even? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Very similar, and it's and it's I know, really let's great. Just talk about Squid Game. That is one of oh the best. Oh my God, best. And that episode, one of the best episodes oh of season six. six, if not the best. <sighs> oh, I had a. Holy I loved. Shit. I loved every second of that TV show. Me too. Almost cried multiple times. Oh my gosh. Almost cried? You didn't actually cry at all? No, I stopped myself from crying. Why? I, I, I just didn't want to go there. Do you ever yeah. let yourself so cry? Use it in the work. Save yeah, it. actually, yeah. I save it for like acting roles usually. Oh, that doesn't you, so pay so off. on the next really job, you're just gonna show. remember back the time you were watching yeah. Squid Games episode six. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what's gonna make you oh go my God, there. Yeah. Yeah. When that one. Or you could just look in the mirror. Like we were having a like great conversation and stuff, <laughs> and I know you try to like make jokes in the middle of stuff, but I'm being fucking serious. Are you? Yeah. I couldn't tell. Cut this part out. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> what the fuck was that? That's how I cough. No. It makes me feel like it, like it's an alpha move. Anyway, Charles knows. Doesn't register. Charles does it in any callback oh, yeah. or audition. Yeah. He, like, he walks in, he's like, hey, how's it? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Gets, huh. yeah. And we say, oh, sorry, Charles. Yeah. Do you need anything? You need water, tissues? You're good. You're good. Yeah. yeah. Now I got him. You, yeah. Now you got him. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell are we talking about? I'm not, I don't yeah. Know. What were we? Squid Games Club. I was telling a story about. Yeah, go oh, ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah. Are strangers. we really strangers? Yeah. That what it's called? We're not really strangers. We're not really so strangers. fun. It's just, it's a box of cards. There's three levels, and it's about getting to know with people and connecting with them so it'll ask you deep questions like uh like what's a question it would ask what is something deepest fear yeah like something like that yeah. so i was playing with someone a Which couple nights ago do you love the most okay not is that actually one of the questions I don't know. but uh, and deeper questions asking like why's and follow-ups and i got asked what is a compliment you don't get what is a compliment you wish you got more of which was interesting because compliments make me uncomfortable and so then I was just talking to this person about how compliments make me feel, and now I'm trying to like accept compliments, which is why I'm forcing you to give them to me. I feel <clears throat> that I've had that problem before with compliments, and I try to imagine it as a genuine connection with another person. So whenever they're giving me the compliment, I embrace how uncomfortable I am by going by making eye contact and. <clears throat> I don't know why I do this thing. I put my hand on my heart like, oh, thank you so like much. To really take it in. Yeah, like, That's oh, beautiful. thank you. That's really kind of you to yeah. say. I yeah. appreciate you too. Thank you. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. I'm glad or whatever, you know. <coughs> yeah. And it seems to make me feel less comfortable whenever I embrace it that way, if that makes or any it makes sense. Or makes you. Yeah. Yeah. Jay-Z's got a lyric about it. Oh, yeah? What is it? Yeah. He goes. <clears throat> you want to. Uh, can you scoot up to the mic, actually? Yeah, oh, okay. sure. Okay. Thanks. I have to try to remember. Uh, he goes, I put my hand on my heart. That means I feel you. Real recognizes real, and you're looking familiar. Mm. Mm. Oh, I like right? that. When I was. It when, rhymes. When I was. Uh, <laughs> I <know>. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I was at an event, and there was a lot of. There were a lot of people there. It was like mm -hmm. um, a jazz night at the W. It was very popular. And a uh, guy in a suit came up and he was like, yo, brother, he goes, you know, a lot of uh, you know, successful, interesting people here, but you really shine. And I was like, oh, th thank you. And I was like, you, you too, man. He goes, no, no, that's for you. Ah. And he Ooh. goes, and he's like, I know I do. He goes, because real recognizes ah, real. Ah, yeah. Ah, so he was like, I'm, I already have the confidence and validate myself, and I just want to shit, I want to give you the roses while you could smell them. Yeah. I love that. Right? Yeah. It's beautiful. I love that. So not not only that, but it, you know the person who's giving the compliment, it, it says something about them too. Mm -hmm. So it's not about not mm -hmm. so much about you <coughs> or you feeling uncomfortable and then trying to like give them a compliment back. I just want to hide. It depends on the types of compliments. I can take compliments about uh, my work. I can take compliments about uh, yeah things surrounding work. But it's like compliments about like beauty or stuff mm -hmm. like that makes me really uncomfortable. Why is that? How deep are we going to get here today? I'm asking, yeah, I'm, for real, why does... I think because I grew up in a white environment, like an all-white environment, mm. and so the standard of beauty is simply whiteness, and when you're a little kid, a little black girl, and there's only like three of you at this school in Oregon in the 90s, early 2000s, we were quite literally never chosen, mm -hmm. and 
like the way that I like to explain it is I was homecoming queen in high school because I was respected by my peers. I wasn't popular, but I was friends with everyone. I was friends with the math geeks. I was friends with the choir nerds. Mm -hmm. I was friends with the theater kids, English nerds, whatever. So I was elected homecoming queen because I was respected by my peers, but I didn't have a date to homecoming. Like that was my, that was what shaped my entire perception of did you me. did you want to date <coughs> anybody at your school? I uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Mm. I had crushes. Um Yeah, so that's Cuz maybe you were too good for them. Well, okay, but but black women hear that all the time. I think you're special. Thank you. Yeah, that was good. Thank well, you. Yeah. But but seriously, that's the thing. It's like, "Oh, you're so strong, you're so whatever." You're too much woman. For yeah, them. whatever. It's uh, yeah. cool, but it's also like, "What the fuck? That's not fair." Like I talk about this with a lot of my black female friends. It's like, oh, you're too good for them. Well, I want to, I just want to be soft. I want to be held. I want to, mm. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I know I'm a fucking badass. I know I'm a, gr- a kick ass career woman. I make shit happen. I confident, can be intimidating, whatever, cool. But I'm also just like a girl <laughs> and I want to be held and mm. to have my softness seen. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just relax right now. Mm. It's just you're a little tense. I'm always a little just tense. Just let me massage you. Okay. There it is. Thanks. There it is. Okay. Thanks. You're doing good. Thanks. Mm. Let, it, let it go. No. Let it go. <laughs> 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 We're going to go deep. <clears throat> well, this will only happen once during the podcast. What? You're going to And this one's nice. for you. Okay. Uh... Sometimes I'm not the most articulate in certain ways. I want to f- say something because the emotions or the thought of it is so deep and I'm getting better at my vernacular daily. So here's what I want to say. I validate your experience because you've told, talked about it before, what happened to you as a child and the way you grew up. That being said, you should embrace the version you are right now because that version won't exist other than this time you'll constantly be changing as a person so when someone does give you a compliment about the way you look or how beautiful you are or whatever it is embrace that because that's the only time you'll be able to accept it in the version that you are right now and so you don't want to do a disservice to yourself by um, not allowing yourself to accept that in the version you are Thank you. You're welcome. That's that. I really I like that. Yeah, I'm very wise. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> so sleepy. I was wondering if you were gonna drink that. <laughs> it's like you've been holding an unopened can. Guys, Impressive. you know what I love doing? I love going hard. I love not sleeping. I love you? living my dream. Yeah. What yeah. you mean? Are you about but to now plug this drink? Jocko Discipline Go is one of the best all natural energy drinks. <laughs> That was a great ad. Surreal. Are you sponsored by them? No, I wish. You go, I thought you went to bed at like 8.30 really and got up at like 4. I haven't been able to. I've been flying back and forth between here in New York so right. much that <coughs> the right. time difference, I'm like, I need to get rest, like whatever that may mean, like yeah. whether it be five hours or two mm-hmm. hours on the plane or whatever it is. But what I'm saying is I'm so thankful to be in the state I am right now of working I was working on three different shows at one point a couple of months ago, which was incredible. And then now with the podcast, with other stuff going on in my life and balancing everything, I'm so thankful to be working and being tired like this again that, um, yeah, I just wanted to uh, say that out loud because it's such a blessing to work hard and be tired. Huge. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it's a privilege. Well, to work hard at what you love and be tired. Yeah. I don't think it's a blessing simply to work hard and be tired. It could be if you take care of your family and you don't have job opportunities. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, but I'm just No, I think – are yeah. you trying to talk I'm about, like, about like, hustle culture and all that? Hustle culture or, like, people who are working on – like, immigrants here who are working on farms all day long getting paid jack shit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because they're not – Yes. That's not a ble- – like, yes, it's a blessing to have a job and make money, but it, they shouldn't be worked so hard for such little pay. Both are true. Here, here's my issue. I'm, I'm, I need I need to revert back. The hustle culture thing that you're talking about, I understand, uh, you know, what is it called? Your wheel, uh, running your wheels in the mud. Uh, Being stuck sure. in a rut? 
uh, spinning your wheels. Spin, spinning your wheels. Spinning your wheels. Spinning your wheels yeah. in the mud. And not hustling. Smart, dude. I'm on running on such little sleep. This is yeah. ridiculous. I can't figure out the words I'm trying to think. Um, I think for today's culture, I think there's actually a, a problem with hustling correctly, and mm-hmm. people taking too t- too much time off and like taking me time. I think it's important to take me time and everything like that. Like I need to recharge. This this day's for me, but from what I'm seeing for the majority of people, for the majority of actors, for the actors that I've talked to recently at the I, IDA, what is it called? Can we, I wanna plug them because it's actually a really good program that my friend Anthony teaches at and he's, um, I was able to speak there. IDSA Los Angeles is an acting school. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, uh, I reminded them that Nobody's asking you to be, nobody's begging you to be actors, right? You guys are here on your own free will, correct? And I could see all of their eyes just get, oh, yeah, that's right. I'm like, yeah, there needs to be a very solid work ethic behind it because this is a very competitive business Mm -hmm. and it's a business at the end of the day. So you need to learn how to work within the business. And so listening to people like how much they're actually working or, hey, I'm, I'm just actually doing this or I don't know what to do and it. It just, it was more eye-opening than I realized, like, oh, no, they need to turn it up a a notch. A lot of these young (coughs) artists in L.A. especially, for the most part. Well, I'm curious about this because we've had talks about this and, you know, you got the the Jocko drink and you're about the the motivation. You understand the work ethic. And that's something that I buy into as well. And I would say the same thing. Uh, How is it for you? Because I don't really know if we've really talked about, like, how much you put into it. Cause I'm, I'm in the same way. I'm like, you know, um, I didn't move here to go to parties, mm-hmm. to do this, to do that. Like I came here with a purpose to work. So yeah. when I see other people relaxing, but this is like something Kobe Bryant said, he goes, I watch other players and they go on vacation together. He goes, what's the point? And you're kind of like, well, the point is to relax. But from his perspective, he's like, no, the job's not done. Like when they asked him, are you happy to be up you know, three three games to to one with whatever team. He goes, job's not done. Mm-hmm. Job's not done. So I understand that mentality. But th- I think the thing with hustle culture is not everyone, depending on in the spectrum personality, like where you're at. I mean, do you adopt that kind of personality? Because you work. You're coming off yellow jackets. Mm-hmm. Check it out. And scream. And scream. And, scream. and this podcast. So and my album. You're, you're doing something right. Yeah. What, what's your mentality about? I'm actually trying to shift my mentality into having more fun and mm-hmm. relaxing more. A little more pleasure. A little more pleasure. Now I get it. I've been in LA nine years mm-hmm. and I am so stressed <laughs> because I've been hustling for so long. I think there's a smart way to hustle. I was hustling to survive for mm-hmm. several years. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. straight up. I worked a graveyard shift 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. at Mel's Drive In, which was disgusting because people would come in drunk and throw up and it was the worst. Yeah. I'd, I'd sleep for three hours. I would do auditions all day long. And then like Monday, Wednesday, I went to acting class from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. And then I'd rush to work and be a little late. And Tuesdays and Thursdays, I went to rehearsal for this play I was doing. I, that was my life for like so oh. many years. Like Oops. work, 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 hustle, hustle, yeah. hustle. Exhausting, but so fun. I, like that was one of the periods of time in my life when I was the happiest, actually. I lived with one of my best friends at the time we had this tiny one bedroom that we shared Mm -hmm. i didn't even have a bed we well i did we Mm. got bed bugs and we were so broke we had to get rid of everything so we didn't have a couch i didn't have a bed we didn't have we got rid of like all our clothes my car was broken down like it was the pits but it was so fun because Mm -hmm. i was living with my best friend in la doing the thing you know yeah and then (coughs) and then started working a little bit but continuing to just like just grind all the auditions, all the classes, coming up with different ways to make money, trying to think of different mm-hmm. opportunities. Mm-hmm. So like I pitched and recorded this whole other podcast that'll never get released. It's a whole thing. And now I'm at a place where I've been I'm so used to working nonstop, saying no yeah. to every party. Like I didn't I didn't party in my early twenties. I didn't. I didn't go to any of the things. There's so many bars in LA I don't even know. I don't even know my neighborhood that well. And now yeah. I am realizing that work has paid off and I want to continue that work ethic because I really enjoy creating. I really enjoy what I do 
but I also want to just enjoy life more. Yeah. Like I've been living to work. But that's a sacrifice and you made. Like you talk about those bars and restaurants. Now you can call, exactly. make a reservation, pay your tab and the other person's tab. And I do. And yeah. when are you going to do that for me? I'm, I want a free meal. Between Christmas you? and New Year's. Let's go. Let's Between Christmas meal. and New Year's, we're going out. I'm, I'm, I'm for real. I'm okay. free that week. Uh, now I want to find mm -hmm. a balance because the thing is I do love, I do really enjoy working. So like, I don't want to start going out all the time going crazy. What mm -hmm. would actually make me happy is I, I go to dinner with a friend at 7. It's a long dinner. Maybe we have a bottle of wine, whatever. But then I'm home at 10, and I'm writing a new song on my guitar. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I'm still, like, doing the thing, but there's pleasure interwoven in there, and I don't feel like I have to say no to all this stuff that my yeah. friends are doing socially. Well, I guess, I guess it's that thing of, like, that hustle and you embodied it to an you answer that question about whether you had the mindset it was your actions proved that you understood that there was a uh, um, uh, motivation you know mm -hmm. um and then i heard john ham talking about um success and s not like an imposter syndrome but kind of thinking like will it ever be will it be taken away so the work ethic got you there but do you need to keep having that same mindset to move forward? You know, like you're a success. <clears throat> like, you know? Yeah. So yeah. my opinion on that is that you have to be willing to evolve and mm -hmm. adapt to whatever the times call for. So let's say you are in a period of time where Man, I did hustle all that time, and then all of a sudden, boom, you're getting all these direct offers. Let's say, like, this is someone else's thing. There's a great quote I read in The Mission of Art that said, It's not the quantity, or it's, 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 it's uh, yeah, it's not the quantity mm -hmm. of time you spend on an art piece, it's the quality of mm -hmm. time and the intensity in which you're I like that. putting it through. So that's why, like, learning how to adapt, work smarter. Yeah. And continuing to grow and right. learn, I think, is the key for longevity and mm -hmm. just in general. Because if you look at any restaurants, if they don't adapt, if they don't change their menu a little bit, they're all gone within yeah. what a year or two years, depending on, you know, maybe they had this, you know, a couple decades of great success. Times change. Clientele changes. They don't want this anymore. Okay, well, what can we do to change? What can yeah. we do? How, how do we survive? See, but are you doing that to, again, are you doing that to survive? Are you doing that because um, you have a passion for the food and the discovery and also your relationship mm. with what ah. you're doing because of your it feeds your curiosity and then you want to share that with the public and that'll travel yeah. into the food yeah like it'll be better if there's love in it but if you're just doing it to keep up with the times i'm going to go down to this restaurant because ah. it tastes better well that's you know what I'm that, saying? that's a tricky yeah. question I, I i agree with you but it's a business the, the, like if you're going into acting for the love of it you can always act on your own you can always find acting work on your own you can do theaters you can put on your own shows if you really love it for free, you can do it on your own. But right. if you are in the business, the business changes, evolves, mm -hmm. and so you got to figure out, okay, how do I play the game to still be able to do what I love and make money if that's what I want to do? Okay, so that that brings me to uh, that shift in mindset you're like you're talking about. First, it's surviving. If I don't work, I have to go back home. I don't want to go back mm -hmm. home. I got to pay for everything. LA is expensive. Then you start working, and then it's like, okay, now I have some stability um people are buying the the french fries and things what else do i want to add to the menu the other example is listen to yo-yo man he was um talking about how he realized he could uh, we talked about it, he could play the perfect um concert then and he was in the middle of a performance and he, he was playing the perfect concert and then he's like and then i got bored and then he realized like you know there's a percentage that's allocated for um, the performance for improvisation, but what percentage was he allocating for the audience? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, if you're making something, what good is it if you don't share it? But also, what good is the meal if nobody remembers it? Well, oh. and so what are you what are you what are you cooking up in your kitchen so that the audience will? For, is it for the audience? And that's the new, th I guess, the thing to be in service of, which I guess was the theme of that Justin Bieber YouTube documentary. Check it out. <laughs> well, I have a counter argument to sure. the whole adjust and change with the times thing with the analogy of the restaurant mm -hmm. in and out burger they've never once changed anything on that menu and it's one of the most popular burger restaurants in la well the other side of that though is that the audience is never 
lagged, so they were always doing something right. It would be like an actor, I think, if you're like, you know, they're delivering something continuously. It's like The Rock. He always does the exact same thing in Sh- every single movie, and he's really good at that thing, and one of the richest, most famous men actors that we have. Yeah, and you see some people try to change the uh, menu, and you're like, what are they like, doing? It, I think it's, so I think the core of it is just be true to you. Like some people, it's like, this is my one thing that I'm yeah. good at. Mm. I'm going to just dedicate my life to that. They're happy. Then uh, I would be bored just doing one thing, so I do 100 things, and I'm constantly shifting and evolving because mm. that makes me happy, and that's me being true to me. Mm. Oh, here's sorry to cut no, you no, off, but uh, the, the, the thought came yeah. to me is, okay, so if you're a restaurant, what what do the audience come to you for? Like somebody said, you know, you got to be careful about the projects you choose because you're training your audience about what you're going to deliver. Have you thought about that? Like what do you deliver? With with that specifically, with yeah, work and choosing it. projects. Thought, no, me. I. I'm I <laughs> like trust me, I've seen her work. It's like this is my impression of Jasmine in any any project. Okay. No. <laughs> Candace. <laughs> I can't keep doing this. <laughs> you do this to me cry? every day. Looks like he's gonna cry. Candace! It's an amazing performance. It's actually really good. I think he's using episode six of Squid Games right now. <laughs> he just sees it on the screen of his yeah. eyes. Oh my god, let's recreate all of Squid Games. Just us right three. Now? We play all three characters. All three of us play all the characters in okay, Squid Games. Go. Okay, go. No, that's. I thought we were doing it right now. I. Oh, wait, let's go back. I want to. Anyway, hear anyway, sorry. Yeah. yeah, sorry. She ruined it, dude. Sorry. So, in terms of up? choosing projects, two answers to this question. One. I hate it when actors are in interviews or go on the Today Show and they're not like the most famous. They're not Meryl Streep. And mm-hmm. someone goes, how'd you choose this project? Bitch, I chose it because I got an audition for it and I was almost out of cash. Like, mm-hmm. tell the truth. It's not it, Most people are not at the position where they're constantly actually tailoring that career mm-hmm. their, their career that way unless they're filthy rich. So for one, yeah, I get auditions that's one, that's one side, and yeah. I need a job. Up until mm-hmm. this point, now I can be a little more selective, but I haven't been able to be selective yet. I've just gotten lucky. But I have, mm. I, I think I've also been really fortunate that um, all of my major jobs have been, they're very different. Like I have shown that I can, d- I can do drama very easily. And now I've shown that I can do comedy and I've done dark culty shit and I've done lighter stuff and I'm gonna go do a rom-com. and. Mm-hmm. I do not want to be pigeonholed. I can do all of it. And um, I've been fortunate with the right team, but also with my training. Mm. Like my first five, six years in LA, I was in the studio, some acting studio, like every single day. And even now, I say yes to every friend who asks for help, self-tape. Even if Mm. it's like, I'm gonna be up till 1 a.m., we gotta get up at five. Oh shoot, I'm in Finland and you're in New York, let's figure it out because Mm. community. And I want to have I want to help my friends succeed, but also it makes me a better actor and keeps me on my toes. Yeah. I have to get I I have to buy this. I've already bought it for a good number of people in my community, sangha. It's called in um, Buddhism, where it's your spiritual community that helps uh, cultivate your spirituality, and it's a very close knit community that you're supposed to have in order to get you spiritually evolved. And as artists, I always thought like, oh, you need your you need your tribe that's mm-hmm. on the same mentality mm-hmm. as you. And uh, yeah, you, you, it's called The Mission of Art. It's by mm. Alex Gray. It was gifted to me by Anthony from IDSA. IDSA. Um, and um, everything that you guys are talking about, it mentions in the very first chapter of this book. And mm. the this, this stuff we've just been talking cool. about for the last 20 minutes. And it's just a reaffirmation that we're on the right track. Mm-hmm. I always think of like life as an ultra marathon. And sometimes you're on like, are we good on time? Should I do the call out? Yeah. Hey, uh, we we're wrapped up on Adobe Live, but the show continues on. Make sure you tune into us on YouTube. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in live. Full episode tomorrow morning. Anyway, to continue, um, I was thought of life as an ultra marathon. And whenever you read these things that you're already doing, they're like way markers to show that, hey, you're on the right path. You know, you've been doing the right mm. things to keep going. Yeah, I guess that's some of the things that I'll look for in other people's stories whether it's biographies or just listening to their interviews. Mm. But like hearing you say that you've gotten to do different things. Mm -hmm. For me now, I remember when I first moved here and I studied and uh, worked at it for eight and a half years and I got my first show. And then saying like, I'm gonna say yes to everything because I was on this drama for 
five seasons. Mm -hmm. And then I went and I did a half hour comedy. I went and did a procedural and I did our show. And then I now can go, uh, I can do all this. I can do it all. But then then the next phase was like, but what do I want to do? And so I was reading with Chadwick Boseman. Somebody asked him, is there some piece of advice, advice or something you had learned that really helped you? And he was like, wow, that's a really tough question. But he goes, you know, I would say saying no to things. That's hard for me. Uh Yeah. And he goes, because in the beginning you say yes to everything because everything's not enough. It's not enough to let you know where you stand in this industry. It's not enough money. Um, It's just, you know, and in the beginning, yeah, you got to say yes to everything because you just don't have that much opportunity. But then when the table turns and you realize, well, I could keep saying yes to everything and then, but I would just, who would I be? Mm -hmm. And then that's what I imagine. That's, you know, where I feel then by saying no, he goes, by saying no, you learn what you should say yes to. But then I would think in Matthew McConaughey's sense where he's like, you know, I'm not going to do any more rom-coms. Okay, well, we got this project for $2 million. No. Well, now they're offering $4 million. No. $8 million. No. $12 million. <sighs> No. And, like, if he didn't say no, we wouldn't have the McConaughey's, right. right? So imagine being – that's a hypothetical for someone. Mm-hmm. But imagine that's your reality. $12 million. And you've been so used to saying yes, and you've done your rom-coms for four, five, six years, and that could be you, and you want to ride that out. But do you want to go in a different direction? But now the audience is so conditioned that we want, we expect a rom-com out of you. And so he didn't work for two years, and he said, I wanted to see if I could be the target and not the arrow. So that was a shift in his thinking, and Mm -hmm. he realized, he goes, I'd realize I'd become like this thing, everything. He goes, the manager pointed and said, look, there's pictures of you running on the beach shirtless with Lance Armstrong. He goes, you're wearing the same outfit and like the different pictures. He's like, it's becoming a thing. Like you're just this thing now. And so he goes, oh, it's not just choosing different projects. He was like, I have to like rethink everything about himself. And so originating from there and coming up with different choices. So that's what I, and we talked about that earlier about who you are now is different than who you were before, but then also who are you becoming? So that's this interesting thing of how do you think for your future self, Mm. but how do you appreciate where you are at now and take the lessons in? So hearing you say, you know, I've done the comedy, I've done the thing. And I'm like, I was saying that like, Mm -hmm. you know, just just a a year ago or something like that. But then coming out of it, I was like, do I want to do that again? Because I've already proven that. Right. Mm. What's for me? Yeah. Mm. and, And I heard that John Boyega had turned down the Kingsman. And they came to him and Samuel Jackson had called him was like, who's this kid with the balls to turn down the job and work with me? And he just goes, I already did attack the block, mate. He's like, I did that. And he's like, just next. And then he got Star Wars. And Damn. I, yeah. And I was like, the balls? That kid. And so I think about that. If for me myself, if if would I be able to incorporate that kind of thinking for myself? No, Charles, you already did that. Do you want to do that again? Be like, nah. And be able to turn down mm-hmm. someone. Yeah. If Samuel Jackson called you, turn down $12 million. Could you do that for yourself? But that's a stage I think you're talking about. You might get to when you get to there. Because now it's a hypothetical. But then when it becomes our reality. Mm-hmm. Before you used to work all those jobs. You wanted to go to those restaurants. And now you... You right. Can, without worry, you can afford to have that meal without worrying about right. what you're going to pay for. That's your now reality. Yeah. Deep shit. Think about that. <laughs> Tune in on my podcast. You know, I'm going to come up with my What's own it podcast. Called? Uh, Deep Thoughts. Deep Thoughts. Deep Thoughts with CMD. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, your wheels are turning over here. Yeah. Yeah. Is it I from think that? it's critical. Yeah, exactly. It's from that energy He's just drink. like. It is. He's caffeinated and I I think it's important to hear the right advice at the right time. Because I feel I have to say this. Everything you just we just talked about Mm -hmm. is great. Especially specifically what you were talking about, turning down jobs and everything like that. Yeah. I just want to give a footnote. It's not a competition, though. It is. It is. And you won. Yeah. It's fine. I lose graciously. (laughs) But I'll remember this. I'm winning winning my Emmy. I'm like, fuck you, Jasmine. (laughs) I would be so delighted. Um, No. What I'm about to say is for most people, 
getting to that position of turning down work and everything is further down the line and don't like think that oh from most people it's going to be after my first or second job that's my only warning when i hear people say that yeah because it's different for everybody it is different for everybody i'm going to say for most people people who come to la that would not probably be the smartest thing because you're trying to make those relationships with casting directors in the beginning oh yeah, yeah. i'm taking not in the I'm, beginning I, that, that's I, I have to say that because i know for a fact there's a 19 year old listening to this going i'm going to start turning down work if i don't feel it and it's yeah. like no you don't even have an imdb page do you right you gotta yeah. wait yeah does that make sense what i'm it saying it does it's just a warning just it's showing people the other side of the thing yeah not to negate anything you said no it doesn't it doesn't negate it just it 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 colors another angle of it. In Letters to a Young Poet, he tells the young poet he wants to know those things. So yeah. here's Rainier Maria Wilkie, who's 27 years old at the time, giving advice to a 19-year-old poet um, who's like from his hometown and went to the same school. And he's telling the guy, don't be concerned with the answers because the questions are like, what's going to happen? Is my verse any good? You know, basically, Rilke's kind of looking at a young version of himself mm. and being like, don't worry. Like, right now, that's not for you. Don't mm. worry. And his advice was, don't be so concerned with the answers. You wouldn't be able to do anything with them anyway. Consider the question. Mm -hmm. Live your life with the question in mind, and mm -hmm. you'll find that you'll have lived into the answer. Wow. Yeah, and so that's one of the things. But this is something I heard that uh, when Johnny Depp first moved to L.A., he was friends with Nicolas Cage, and one of his, uh, they was having lunch with, like, a manager, and he was saying, um, treat yourself like you're already a movie star and make decisions from that angle. <laughs> but the other side is um, Arnold Schwarzenegger, he moved to L.A., and people don't know this, but he was a millionaire before his first movie. He decided to invest in real estate because he didn't want to take small acting roles. He didn't want the pressure of it. So there's, there's obviously different angles, but there's sort of this thing of, well, where do you want to go? Right. And so, yeah, in the beginning for this kid who's 19 and moving to L.A., let's say he gets offered. Um, Co-star. No, not even co -star. Let's say he gets a lead in, you know, some American Pie knockoff where he's got to be naked and they want full front of nudity. Mm -hmm. And, you know, but it's a lead role and they're going to pay him $200,000. Well, that is that is sort of a step forward. But you're right. I said right? I, there was uh, two yeah. or three series regular roles I said no to. Yeah. Before my first series regular role, which felt insane. Wait, really? Mm hmm Because it just wasn't it wasn't right for me. Wow. Mm. See? Yeah. What do you mean it wasn't right for you? Yeah. Um, Sorry, I just I'm just curious. Not the network I wanted to be on. Oh. Twice. <laughs> Cinemax. Are you allowed not to quite. say or do you want to <laughs> say? I mean, I'll tell you, but you should bleep it. Uh, I don't wanna... Is that cool with you, Peyton? Mm -hmm. Can you make a note? Yep. Thank <laughs> oh. And my team was like, audition, audition. <laughs> Now, now we know. Growing After, relationships. Now, wait, wait. I'm sorry. And I said no twice to them and then once to someone <laughs> else. <laughs> what? Are you serious? Yeah. What? Nothing. No, what? Because oh, I did a show on But it wasn't right to... for me. Okay. It wasn't Stop right for it. me. Stop saying it. Stop saying it. He has so much to edit. People okay. are going to figure it All out. Right, we're jumping. No, they're we're, not. We're jumping in not now. Not if you cut out what you said. Just yeah, stop. <laughs> cut out what I said. Hey, Just cut out what I said. We're jumping in now. Stop. Don't bring it up. No, I won't okay. say the thing, okay. but yeah. it wasn't right for me at the time. Great. Yeah. That there's nothing wrong. Yeah. Make yeah. a lot of money. Right, have right, a lot right. of fun. All my, so many of my friends. Great. No, no I agree it with right you. It wasn't right for me. Yeah, yeah. At that time in my life. Um, Unless it's, well, Okay. Yeah. And then another network that I also didn't want to work with. It was a different one at the time. Wow. Um, so, mm. Mm. yeah. And I'm really happy with the way that I my life is going and my yeah. career's turned out. You got really yeah. lucky. I got to pause. I got to pee. Oh, yeah. Take a pee. I got to pee yeah, so yeah. bad. It'll just be me and her, so ratings will go down just briefly. Okay. <laughs> I wish that. You guys can uh, skip ahead. We'll put the <laughs> time marker. Uh, my bladder. I got a sore bladder. So, mm -hmm. so many things. Can I see your armpit hair? Sure. Is it still pink? I mean, yeah. Can you? Maybe. Kind of. Oh, it's not pink anymore. Yes, it is. You just, it's light pink. Okay, cool. You, you like that? Do you like it not shaved? Does it feel better when it's not shaved? It's more of a political statement. I'm not kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, I'm, I'm kidding. not, I'm kind of over it, to be honest. I'm like in the mood for like clean pits. 
Yeah. But I'm about to have a ton of really big press in January. Like, okay. I'm going to walk some really big carpets. And it's, like, good. Yeah. It's a good political statement, so I'm going to keep it for a while. I know I tease you about it, but I honestly don't care. And I and I don't. I and I hate when, when If you actually cared, thing. it would be a hate crime. Excuse me? But you, I mean, if you didn't wait, wait, care. Wait, what? If you didn't care, it would be a hate crime. But you do care, so it's funny. What? I, I, it's a hate crime? The way that you, the way that we interact on social media yeah. is so funny because we, it's so obviously oh not real. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> Some people know. Some people do not know. And hey, <laughs> to those people, wow. Uh, those, wow. That one of those people Call went in my asshole. DMs, like basically crying, like I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to. I was like, it's it's okay, my guy. Don't respond back next time. I they should know. I respond. Do you read your do you Requests. go? Yeah. Yeah. And if I you're respond crazy, to a lot of them. I mean, the normal ones I do. Yeah. And then I had to stop. Yeah. Because they got to you get like some weirdos i love normal fans or normal people you know yeah. if they say hey, i appreciate you know but then there are some people when they're like send me your socks you're like eh, what's your address it's, it's i'll little, think it's about it much you know people get eh. too comfortable it's really amazing me the trolls mm -hmm. you know you have a lot of trolls uh every now and then there comes a wave what do they say uh the Recent one was funny. It was knock off Jake Gyllenhaal. That was like, the the handle. No, the comment on one of my. That's pictures. the comment. Yeah, knock off Jake what? Gyllenhaal. I was like, okay. What does that mean? <laughs> That's kind of all right. I'm like, I guess I'm a bad version of Jake Gyllenhaal, which I'm like, That's I actually not like the worst comment. No, I was kind of he's nice. actually a really good actor. He's good looking, and Seriously. I guess I'm a knock off version of him. Okay, okay cool. cool. Well, I'll keep living my dream. Yeah, <laughs> it's like saying you're a knock off Ferrari. You know. Yeah. It's better than being a, a knockoff Yaris. It's better than being a Toyota. Yeah, that would, I guess so. Anyway, it's a, it's a shitty yeah. troll. Silly. Um, yeah. And then some people's comments, I don't know whether they are trolling or just their, their English is just all over the place or their grammar mm -hmm. is just terrible. But other than that, it's fine. Guys, this is so much fun. You don't know how much fun I'm having so far. With how much guys. on a scale of 1 to 10? Ten, honestly. Okay. Wow. Because we've laughed hard. We talked about deep stuff. You yeah. said some really smart things. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, if it ever stopped, yeah, I'd be sad. Yeah. It yeah, we will do this till we die. I really uh, troll each other. If he was uh. ever like too kind to me it'd be suspicious i'd be really freaked mm. out and uncomfortable yeah. i gave you a really nice compliment earlier on in the show did you yeah the one like embrace your version of that you are right now that was advice that wasn't a compliment <laughs> that was you did a nice gesture by dyeing your armpit hair pink <laughs> six dollars didn't have to spend 400. <laughs> <laughs> did you paint it it's a spray Okay. Alex sprayed it. It's, it's for hair, but he didn't have a lot of hair, so it was just like... It's just stuck on your skin. <laughs> just on the skin. Hot. Yeah. Put that on your OnlyFans. I would make so much money. <laughs> God. Yeah. Eh. Doing some Jake Gyllenhaal role know. play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some knockoff <laughs> Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> He's just acting out all the Jake Gyllenhaal scenes. That'd, yeah. that'd be really funny. Ooh, yeah. A little Brokeback Mountain. You in? Uh, can I play Heath Ledger? Or, yeah. Then you guys can come on the podcast. Wait, did he let you? <laughs> Will that qualify? <laughs> yeah. That might be an issue. Honorary gay. Yeah. If I recall the scene, that might be an issue. <laughs> I actually have never seen that movie. <laughs> Is that such a thing? Would you really like give them an honorary pass for doing that film? No. What do you mean? Jake what? Gyllenhaal for doing Brokeback Mountain? No. I think if, if someone, if a straight person, no, no. Eddie Redmayne. No. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. What are we talking about? My what? podcast. Pe no, this straight, is straight males doing, um, playing gay roles. Oh. Give them a pass to be pass. on the podcast. No, because it's a space just for queer people. Yeah. But I'd give yeah. them a shout out. Like, thank you for your allyship. Mm. I'm, I'm an ally mm -hmm. of the LGBTQ community. Mm -hmm. Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite thing about the community? I like that they've come together to support each other. I think that's always beautiful when people who have been marginalized come together yeah. and grow and evolve and, and support one another and are making headway to make their lives better and uh, educate the incoming generations that 
we're all equal and we deserve equal rights. I didn't expect that. That's all I'm going with. Yeah. I know. <laughs> you started as a joke and then he had to double down and like. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, oh, I think the lady doth protest too much. <laughs> Guys, I honestly, if somebody <laughs> says anything about this podcast, they're dumb. We'll be, we'll be fine. Our crew's yeah, right there. it's fine. Yeah, he's we won't get canceled. He's crying. Nobody he's watches this podcast anyway. He smells so bad. <laughs> he's sweating. You still wear deodorant, though? Yep. Did you before? Mm-hmm. What? You no, can't. Ju- no, just that you're protesting. She <laughs> no, I'm not saying you ever smelled. Yes, I am. I just... <laughs> Never asked. I've always warned you. <laughs> Fuck you. This is what happens with the stupid little rumors. Then, then stupid little rumors. <laughs> what do you mean? Like I'm spreading rumors. You don't. You, it's your thing. It's your political statement. You don't do that. That's fine. That's not true. I have always worn deodorant. We Sam. You? <laughs> yes. For the people. Are you serious? Shut up. I've always worn. I heard deodorant. you talking about that on, no, the, be, on behind the scenes. No. No. Hold on. Cut this part out. So like, no. Seriously, like you were talking about how you never liked the shower and stuff like that. <laughs> And everybody would be like, oh, she smells terrible. Mm-hmm. I'm like, natural. it's a political statement. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay. This, come yeah, back. exactly. Mm. Sure. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. So you're not dating Violet? No. Okay. She's just one of my best friends. That's so weird. That post is still questioning. It's just weird post. Was Violet the one in the picture that he showed? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The purple yeah. one. Is she in Scream? Purple hair. No. I was trying to get more of your Was Scream she buddies. on Yellow Jackets? No. Mm. We met on The Leftovers. She played... So she was, her name is Violet. I wasn't in it. Another girl's named Katie. And they were playing two characters named Violet and Taylor. And they said Violet had to play Taylor because she didn't look like a Violet. Isn't that dumb? Crazy story. Shut up. That's that's the clip. That's, that's, that's the teaser. Wow. That's, that's such teaser. a great, dude, I can't wait for your podcast. It's going to be so interesting. <laughs> dude, this is, this is going to be the best. It's really. What's it called, your podcast? The Gay Agenda. Oh, my it's gosh. It's really good. And it sounds exciting. <laughs> agenda. Like in middle school, where you get your agenda. This one's the gay agenda. So it's going to be like, ooh, study time. Yep. 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 You better listen. Oh, boy. <laughs> I, oh, boy. Let's save some of this for the mm. next one. No, I am not dating Violet. He's ready to leave. I'm ready to go. I got a tea time. <laughs> oh, all right, gotta, all right, all right, all right. You were going to wrap it up. I saw that. Oh, uh, you got to go? No. Okay, if you got to go. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, we'll I hate do- to leave. No, no, do, do your thing. You, you know it's what? Fine. It's fine. I have to go, no. too. No, no. We, we get, I, let's I, end it. Mm. Let's end it. We're, this is a good place to end it. Yeah. Can we please? I seriously love this. This mm-hmm. is, makes me happy. We got to do these more often. And yeah. Yeah. You know, bring your cards next time. I will. The strangers one. Yeah, we should just. I was had. I had the same thought. We should just play. Yeah. We're not really strangers on mic. Oh, that's a new thing that uh, we could we uh, we uh, for We Sam's World. We can. Yeah, we can play. That'd be fun. Okay, let's yeah, do it. Let's do it. Let's get Britain here too. Yeah. yeah. And she's mm-hmm. getting. Oh, maybe I shouldn't say that on there. I'll tell you guys later. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Well, hey. this has been fun. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so. <laughs> Hey, uh, play us out, Peyton. Uh, thanks for listening. Uh, make sure you, for uh, listening. you enjoyed Make sure you, if you enjoyed your... Shut the fuck Shut up! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> if you're if listening... If you're listening... I'll, I'll straight up hit you, and you know that, right? I don't I don't care if you're... What, what do you... Domestic violence. You Go identify ahead. as a... Person. Person mm-hmm. of interest. Go ahead, do your thing. Why did I look at you? I'm just gonna, I'm you were on that show? I'm just going to assume you're on every single show that's ever been created. Yeah. Person of interest? Leftovers? Was, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I co- co-star role on that, yeah. Did yeah. you really? No. Yeah. Oh, I thought you did. Are you sure? Yeah, right. yeah, make sure you subscribe sure you if you enjoyed. If you enjoyed. Oh, God. Man, you <laughs> fucking suck. That's on air forever. You fucking suck. Let he's better go. than you. Let him go. Okay. I gotta make my tea. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he's gotta make his tea time, everybody. <laughs> he's got allergies. He's gonna be on the go. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay. I won't. Okay, I won't uh, say make anything. sure you subscribe. Uh, always remember to listen, think, talk. Bye, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you check out. Oh, oh. Uh, she scream is out in theaters. Make sure you check that out. And then she has uh, yellow jackets on Showtime. Mm-hmm. Great show. Critically acclaimed. And a music video coming out end of January. Don't watch that one. Uh, <laughs> and her podcast uh, super exciting the gay agenda so make sure you have your notebook ready take notes kidding cancel cancel <laughs>